Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and today's video is a pack with me vlog video. I said I was going to be doing this in my life update video. If you haven't already seen that, I'm going to link it in the cards above so you can go check that video out and get all caught up on what's going on in my life. But yeah, I need to get this entire room packed along with like the rest of my apartment of my things because I only have a couple weeks left in this apartment. But really, I'm going to try to move hopefully majority of the stuff on Sunday. Maybe. We'll see. As well as next week. But yeah, we get the keys. But yeah, I get the keys this weekend. So I'm really excited. But today's Monday. I have one of these like boxes. I'm going to show you into my closet real quick. This right here. Got I got that from um I got it from Costco and yeah, I need to get more because the ones that I have honestly are not as sturdy as this one that I have from Costco. And this one from Costco is really, really good and they only cost seven bucks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy five bins of that this morning. So you're gonna come to Costco with me. And what else? So yeah, so my big task for today, it's Monday, is to clear out everything under my sink. <laughs> I am basically trying to get it to where I just have the essentials to wash my face, brush my teeth, all that stuff. And which is basically everything that's like on top of here. and. I'll, I'll probably wash my hair today, but everything else needs to go, essentially. And I want to get everything as packed up as possible. Like, I want that entire thing empty. Need to empty stuff out of here. The closet, like our little linen closet here is pretty much empty of my stuff and also want to like consolidate my stuff that's in like the storage closet in the hallway and also kind of clear up some of the storage stuff in the kitchen I have some stuff in there as well so yeah currently eating at macro bar because I finished working out and then immediately had a stand-up so I'm hungry, but also I'm going to get myself some green juice or some collagen powder, you know, get myself sorted. And then you're going to come with me to Costco. But yeah, I have a busy day today. I decided going to Costco in the morning is just going to be easier because I feel like less people. And then that way I can just like do that this morning real quickly, then get started with work. I'll get started with work a little bit later, but it's all stuff that I can do throughout the day. As always, work is always busy. And yeah, I think I'm gonna pack up some of my appliances, get those kind of ready. Cause you know, we moving. Also, I'm back on the beauty collagen from Vital Proteins. Yeah. Okay, I am going to quickly get myself sorted so I can head out here and go to Costco. All right, so I'm on my way to Costco. 
I am extremely excited to finally start packing and get moving. The place that I'm moving into is about 50 to 100 square feet bigger than the current place that I'm at. And it's so much brighter. Like, it's so much brighter. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about that. But we... But I had a little bit of drama before moving into this place that I am going to be moving to. So initially... I was supposed to be moving somewhere else because found an apartment, applied, got approved and everything. I didn't yet sign the lease, which was really great. Like it was truly by the grace of God that I did not sign the lease. I also spoke to my friend who's a lawyer and was just like wanting to make sure I did everything correctly. But essentially what happened was that applied for the lease not apply for lease applied for the apartment pay the application fee the admin fee it auto charged me for the prorated amount which i thought was weird but then i was just like oh it just means i'm automatically approved like whatever then i get approved you know get the lease sent to me hadn't signed the lease yet and then a few days later after getting the lease and you know getting the email that you know i was approved I look at the reviews for this apartment and they are so incredibly bad like it was insane how bad the reviews were like I could not believe how bad they were and it was also interesting because when I had gone to view the apartment I had called the apartment complex and I guess it like forwarded me to a third party who helps them out and the guy was just like yeah we have this availability for this apartment that you're looking for and this is the cost so then I like was like okay like yeah like I would like to schedule an apartment tour because I want to view it before I, I go into it because the current place that I'm living at I didn't physically go into the space like it was like a virtual tour which I realized with virtual tours there's so much that they don't show you in those things and it's for me I realize it's just so much better to be able to view it in person because then you get a real feel for like what it's actually gonna be like living there if you do actually like it if you feel safe there like you just I'm very much like a vibe person like if I can have a better feel for something then I know if that's where I want to live or not. And I'm quite picky of like where I want to live. And so, cause I just, I want to feel safe. Like it's very important to me as a woman of color, as a black Latino woman, like that I feel safe where I live and that I feel like I have the things that I need to be able to work from home because I work from home. And so I have like some requirements and stuff like that. Anyways, um, also, I totally understand, like, it is definitely a privilege to be able to be picky about where you live. Like, I totally get that. Not everyone is able to be picky, but I understand that I'm very fortunate and I'm very blessed to be able to be picky and afford to be able to be picky about where I live. Um, and so I, I do want to acknowledge that I understand that. But yes, so, like go to view this apartment have an, a, a scheduled you know viewing or whatever if you can hear it's my spoon clanking against my my cup so sorry about the noise but anyways go to the apartment complex to view the apartment the leasing manager was just like hey like i walk in and he's just like hey like how can i help you and i was like oh i have a meeting scheduled like i have a viewing schedule for you know one o'clock today and uh, looking at this apartment that's available on this day um, for when I would want to move and he was just like oh we don't have that availability he was also about like 20 feet from me and was standing by his like office door not really coming out to greet me at the front door which I thought was very odd so he was just very standoffish and then I then he was like reading a board which I had no idea he was reading a board but he was just like yeah I don't think we have that availability and I was just like well the person that we talked to on the phone told us that and he was like oh that's a, a third party person 
And then he goes on to his... He was just like, oh, you can come back. So I go back. Meanwhile, he's still very standoffish. Like, physically, like, very standoffish. It was just odd. I was just like, this is so weird. So then, um, you know, we go... So then I go into his office. And then he's just like, oh, yeah, we actually do have that. And I'm just like, you're the leasing manager. Like, how do you... Whatever. So then he he was just like, well, we don't have, like, the exact, like, thing that you're looking for um, in terms to view. We only have, like, this type of availability, but it wouldn't look anything like where you would live. And I'm just like, well, I would still like to view because I scheduled to view and I want to be able to see, like, an example of what I may, you know, live in and maybe you can tell me the differences in there and he was just like oh uh yeah sure and i'm just like how am i telling this guy how to do his job it was really like truly it was bizarre and so view the apartment and notice that there was construction going on in the apartment that they were fixing up the roof and i was just like okay i guess that's a good thing like you guys are taking care of your apartment like good management i guess whatever he then informs me that they are remodeling the pool and so because of that they're going to be providing free passes to rec centers or like water world or something like that for all the residents and i was like oh you guys think in my mind like oh you guys go the extra mile so then you know i was just like i'm very much i understand who i am as a person like i'm very self-aware i was kind of just like i focused on the negative first and was just like he was very standoffish he was very weird i do like the apartment though so i do want to apply so i applied got the approval all that stuff got you know the lease everything hadn't signed the lease then i saw the reviews a lot of them were about how like it was 87 degrees in their apartment year round how they would sit submit a work order request and no one would take care of it it would remain broken one of them said that they had a raccoon infestation in their walls and how management doesn't reply or doesn't respond and i was just like honestly i should have paid attention to his vibe because like i should have taken his vibe as a warning because i did think it was really really weird and he was just very off to me with his approach and you know yes i lost the admin fee and the application fee because it was non-refundable so i was just like whatever it's it is what it is um i talked to my lawyer friend because i was auto charged the prorated amount and i just wanted to make sure like i wasn't you know gonna lose out on that money and i was doing the right thing and he was just like you know i think you should be able to get the admin fee and the application fee and i was just like oh is costco not even open oh uh, no Wait, do they open at... They open at 10? Oh my gosh. I have to wait here for like... 30 minutes. I did not know that. I should have looked that up. Anyways. So, I... So I like talked to my lawyer friend. He was just like, you should be able to get your admin fee and your application fee. And I was like, well, it says non-refundable on there. So he was like, whatever. You should still be able to get your prorated amount back. So like, because you didn't sign the lease, like you're good. Just say this in the email. Cause I had him like, I was just like, this is kind of like how I'm going to word it or whatever. And he reviewed it and he was just like, just be like clear cut. Just say like you lease the apartment to someone else. Don't tell them why you're like not like wanting to stay with them because they're probably really busy they're also not really going to care that you read the reviews and all the other stuff like they might not care and it also can come off like a way that you don't really want to come off as so just be like clear cut and factual about how you're like give the le give the apartment to someone else you no longer want to stay there you did not sign the lease and you want your money back and just be clear about all that stuff and so yeah um i should hopefully be getting a check um in one to two months for my paraded fee and 
then went on to Zillow, found a place that was really, really great. And also, like, the other thing about this apartment was that I thought I was applying for the second floor apartment and then realized later on I didn't read thoroughly and realized that I was applying for the for the first floor, which is, you know, my grandma was just like, that's not really that safe. But, you know, if you feel safe in this area, whatever. And the thing is, like, there was also an issue with safety in some of the reviews because although the apartments are located near one of the richest areas in in, Den in the greater Denver area it's just like one side of the street is, is extremely rich and then the other side of the street is just kind of like normal but apparently there was issues with van vandalism issues with like theft of people's mail and I just was like okay and then also thinking back on it the construction that was happening in the um the construction that was happening at the apartments it was definitely like not safe <laughs> like there's no safety zones like they were just kind of like doing their own thing not really taking the precaution of like you need to make it safe for residents who are there as you are performing construction it was, yeah, there was a lot of red flags that I kind of just ignored because I was just like, I just want to move and all. But yeah, so that was kind of the drama that happened with the, like, trying to move. But the place, the, the new place that we're moving into, like, it's bigger. It's definitely way brighter than the initial place that I was going to be trying to move into. And it's safer like it's a gated community which is extremely extremely nice i love that it's a gated community that makes me feel very safe and i'm not on the first floor which is really nice too because you know as a woman as a single woman like you don't want to be put in a spot where like people can easily access you so yeah that was a little bit of the drama that happened but anyways I am going to I have like 20 minutes until this place opens so I'm just gonna chill just got the bins I'm getting five and they cost $8.49 so I'm gonna buy some more masks because still a pandemic. All right, just finished up at Costco. I have five bins. I also got some more face masks, hand sanitizer, and Clorox wipes along with like the sh shelf shields. Um, I don't know if this could be helpful or not, but like when I moved into the current place that I'm in, I made sure to put down like these like shelf protector things in case that if something spilled in either my bathroom or the kitchen it spills on that rather than the actual surface and it's less damage and I saw that they were next to the bins at Costco and so I bought some it was like a two pack for like 15 bucks but it's like a lot you get a lot whereas if you go to you know your local like all-purpose store <laughs> uh, it's more expensive so it was definitely way more cost-effective to get it at Costco especially seeing that I will use them like forever because you know I just I want to protect the shelves and I don't want to like have to owe money because something spilled say like oil or a cleanser or like spices or something like turmeric like that stains that that leaves a decent stain and so yeah these ones are clear whereas the ones that I got last time were white and so I'm excited that these ones are clear and I, I don't know, I just think they're nicer. So yeah, that's all that I got at Costco and now I'm heading home and I'm gonna 
put the bins that I no longer need. I'm gonna get rid of those old ones because honestly, they're kind of falling apart. These ones are way more sturdier and they're easier to stack and they don't seem like they'll get bent out of shape. Whereas the other ones, like those get bent out of shape and they get harder to kind of like lift and carry and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't have any meetings planned for the rest of the day, so. I'm gonna just like get started with work and then I will check in with you guys for when I start packing. so I'm taking a little bit of a break because I'm having lunch right now but I'm gonna show you my room and the state of it so you can see every single thing that I need to pack everything is like out let me do this everything is out of the little closet that I had in this room and yeah now that I think about it that could have been like a coat closet realizing that after the fact but whatever but everything's out of that little coat closet and I'm just gonna walk you through everything that I need to kind of get sorted and packed so essentially here these are all like my summer clothes um, minus what I have on right now and then I have some like shoes over here as well as like a doormat and I have some plates and bowls that I've had at my grandma's house in Texas for the longest time and finally decided was like I need to just take them off her hand so I can get my stuff out of her place and then I have all like my winter clothes item that I'm going to be keeping here in the luggage there I have my spare monitor and cords and keyboard I also have this rail still I did not get rid of it that I got from Ikea I have a bag up there that's empty and then I have these like boxes I think I have like four of them yeah one of them is over there so I have three of them up here some of them are filled with stuff uh, the one that's over there on the floor is not filled with anything and then I have this basket that's full of my stuff for macrame because I got rid of the macrame that I've done in the past that I cut up and just didn't do properly but all this stuff in here is like to make a proper macrame project because I want to eventually do that. But yeah, and then I have like a Christmas decoration there. And then I don't have like a ton of stuff on here, just like a photo, some little knickknacks in here, cards and stuff. I want to get all of this sorted. I'm going to put this on my record player and I have like my winter accessories here. I have my record players there and this house is like pretty much all of my uh blankets and stuff I'm definitely gonna get rid of some because some of them are you know old and I don't use them so I shouldn't have a bunch that I don't use and then these are like my workout clothes I have like you know travel containers for suits and uh, for suitcases I have like all my bags and stuff here's the empty one here's a little mini fridge for skincare that I'm going to be using, more bags and filtered water. I have some items to donate, my heater and side table. I have like a little laptop stand there and then two bins under here, which house like my clothing and like underwear and stuff. So I have that. And then I showed you everything that was like in my underneath my sink and I literally have nothing in here now because it was all just like random bags and stuff and hair and so I just need to get this sorted have a bag here 
I don't have a ton of stuff in this linen closet, just like this stuff here, cleaning stuff, more cleaning. And then here I have some stuff that I just need to like sort and get rid of. A lot more cleaning stuff, some pots and pans that I haven't used that are honestly good and I'm gonna keep those and then like some tools and stuff here and then things that I bought from Costco this has my um, DVDs this has some like extra lights not sure if I'll use those some stuff for the kitchen toaster um, you guys saw me pack two of these bins some of them have my books and weighted blanket um, some of the one of the, this one has like shoes and my winter coats and stuff in there and then this is actually to cover my bed my mattress i bought this at home depot i'm sure i could buy another one but since i still kept it in good condition i'm just gonna reuse it but it's basically just like a mattress cover so that when you're moving like things don't get on your mattress there but then um i have like my mugs and stuff some bowls things that i never really got to use just because we we don't have a lot of storage in this kitchen and the new place has more storage so i'll be able to put this actually in cabinets which i'm very excited about and then this is pretty much like cleared out um i will i think these would be the last things to move like the plants and stuff i think i'll definitely take i won't take this apart but i'll just take it down um first before i'll take all these things off and then i will put these on the floor here probably and move them over but my plants I think will be the last thing to move just because I don't want them to get too shocked as they move so there's that as you can see the DVDs that were you know color rainbow colored coordinated are in the bin over there so there's that I have one plant here another plant another plant another plant my spray bottle you know for humidity which actually I should do that now. Gotta make sure I take care of my plants. And then I have a humidifier over there that I need to clean out. And then these belong to me. Uh, and you know, see more more blankets and then another pillowcase that belongs to that chair and this chair is not mine but anyways that's what i need to pack and i need to pack it down to where i just have stuff that i need to work out in and change clothes into and all that stuff i want to get as much as i can done today just because i don't want to spend the entire week packing but also I don't want to be stressed with a bunch of stuff. So I'm getting rid of things as I pack as well. I'm gonna go through and just kind of make sure like, do I actually need this? Is this absolutely necessary? So yeah, I will chat with you guys when I next pack. Um, or start getting things packed, but I just wanted to show you guys the overall state of the apartment and the progress that I need to make for everything that needs to just go. I'm pretty much done with work for today and I forgot that I have an engagement at 6.30. It's currently five, so I have an hour to pack as much as possible. I'm going to bring the bins into my room and get to packing. I just, yeah. Also, landscaping is at my apartment complex right now. So that is what you're hearing if you are hearing it. I think you're hearing it for sure. <laughs> but anyways, I, yeah. I'm gonna get started on packing, so let the montage ensue or begin.
So I just got back and this is how the room is looking. 
I like put up the rug over there. That shelving unit is pretty clear. Literally everything you see here is all the stuff that needs to be like packed away. And you guys already saw me empty out the under sink storage here. I just have some like hair products there, right there, here. And then like my essentials, not really essentials, it's just like makeup is over here, skincare is all over here, and like uh, skincare and dental hygiene as well. And then I have like some cleaning products in the bathroom here and obviously some pads and panty liners and tampons and a couple cleaning items here. So not a ton of stuff. I also haven't done anything in the hallway closet yet. It's essentially packed, I will say, but there's like a box in there that I need to like throw away, get rid of. And that's about it. Like the, lo like the linen space, I don't have a ton of stuff in there. And then it's just like, my kitchen items so not a ton a ton of stuff but as you can see like everything literally everything is out besides this section here um that is definitely in the closet it's not out of the closet but that's that's the rest of my stuff good morning it is a new day and yeah, you can see like my items that are packed. All the things in the gray tins are empty. There's nothing in there, but I have six bins that are packed and ready to go. And we'll probably fill up a couple more bins with the gray stuff for kitchen items. But yeah, making really good headway, obviously nothing in the living room is packed i am tired i've had meetings this morning since early didn't go to the gym honestly too tired to go to the gym <laughs> oh gosh great times great times but anyways i am going to make breakfast. I'm going to have avocado on toast. Haven't had avocado on toast in such a long time. I'm so excited because I'm sick and tired of like oatmeal. I get to a point where I'm just like, I'm done. I know I'm going to eat this thing. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have more packing um, to go over today, but I'll check in with you later when that happens. So I cleared out everything out of the hallway closet, not the linen closet, because there's a few things in there and I'll show you. And I also just did a deep clean of my bathroom. <laughs> so that is clean now, but yeah, I'll just show you kind of the progress that I've made. So this is the closet. I didn't have a ton of storage in here, but all of my stuff here is gone along with the stuff that I had up there. So it wasn't a ton of stuff, but it was something. And then I cleared out everything here and all I have there are a couple towels. I have a shelf, oops, a shelf liner that was here and I just moved it here. But yeah, I have some laundry bits. Um, again, the drying rack is not mine. It is my roommate's, but I just have like laundry detergent, flushable wipes, and like refillable soap stuff and, you know, disposable masks. But yeah, that's like my section of the little linen closet here. So this is kind of the progress that I made. I put all the stuff that was like in the hallway um, in this bin here. And then this has already been 
this was already a bin of like cleaning supplies. My room is looking more or less the same from when you saw it earlier. So not a ton of stuff. Hello. So nothing has really changed in my room, but I did donate several bags, several bags, I mean two trash bags of stuff that I've been meaning to get rid of to Arc Thrift Store, um, which is like a major uh, thrift store chain in Colorado, Arc. So if you are in Colorado, you'll be able to see them all around. So I donated to them and tomorrow we're actually having a walkthrough of the apartment with the owners and I will try to do like a little sneak peek of that so you guys can see a little bit into what the apartment looks like. Granted, I'm not going to do an apartment tour because you're going to see it as I live in it and I'm going to be still vlogging in this new place that I'm moving to. So you'll see it, but yeah. But I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I can show a little a little sneak peek of what the apartment's gonna look like. The fact that I have a ceiling fan. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Melanie's very excited. <sighs> oh, wait, I thought it was like in I thought it was another white mark, but it was just the shadow. And I was like, oh, we have another one. I'm just glad that we have like an actual little pantry area. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that make, kind of makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I know, Jasmine. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm really excited. You guys saw the place yesterday. Um, the walls of the place had some marks and stuff from the previous tenant and so parts of it like don't look the best but in our rooms like in our bedrooms the walls look fine and in the kitchen the walls look fine it's just like mainly in the living room there's parts of the walls that i'm just like yeah it's not that clean it could do with like a fresh paint job but it's it is what it is <laughs> Melanie was thinking like oh maybe we should paint it we might paint it who knows uh, just like a white color we might ask to see if we can paint it because I don't want to paint it and go through all that work especially since I don't own that place and it's not really my responsibility so if we paint it, we'll ask. I, I probably won't paint it, though, just because I don't want to be bothered. But I will wipe the walls down, though, just to, like, make sure everything's really clean. I'm actually heading over there to clean now. And pretty much I'm going to take, like, these smaller items here. Um, Probably take some stuff. Take this stuff here, too. But I'm going to take my smaller items. might take my rug might take this little rack here and yeah just some like really smaller items because i'm leaving the bigger items for when i have some people like helping me move um sometime next week and so because there's guys helping me they can like carry the bigger stuff and my grandma was really telling me like as you get older, the things that you've done when you were younger really affect your body when you're older. So if you don't need to carry heavy stuff, don't do it. And if someone is like very capable of doing it and has the strength to do it, let them do it. And these guys are very willing. I'm going to treat them. I asked if they could help me and they said yes. Um, obviously said like if you can't like don't worry about it I don't want to put pressure on you so yeah I'm taking like the smaller items and everything over there but what's really great about this new place is that the carpets are extremely clean but the carpets are very different they're it's like not like stringy if that makes sense it's like a smooth carpet so it's different 
I've never really I've seen carpet like it but I've never really seen it in an apartment before so that was something kind of new but I'm gonna take smaller items I also bought this thing uh, if you follow Melissa's wardrobe on Instagram you would know that she talks about the pink stuff and it like gets rid of like the toughest of toughest stains so I went on Amazon and I bought it and I think it's gonna be really good for that oops I just dropped it <laughs> I think it's gonna be really good for that water stain that is in the tub of the new place that I'm going into but essentially I'm gonna end the video here because now I'm just gonna like be in the process of moving things over I'm cleaning stuff at the new apartment y'all don't need to see that so that's really exciting also another thing at the new place i do have a ceiling fan which is exciting but i don't have a light <laughs> ceiling fan does not come with the light uh which kind of sucks but so i think instead of doing this situation that i've done here because i'm not the biggest fan of it i'm just gonna get a floor lamp and ikea has the cheapest floor lamps i've looked on facebook marketplace they're around like the same price uh, as the one at ikea that i really like so i'm just gonna go for that one and go from there so yeah very excited about that um but it also means that we have like lights that can go out on our patio also the patio balcony situation doesn't have like a roof because here we're on the second floor and the th highest floor is the third floor in our current apartment building and for whatever reason like the way our new place is kind of set up we just don't have a roof over our balcony patio situation so it's open so when it started raining <laughs> Uh, when we were doing the walkthrough yesterday, like, I was just like, oh yeah, we don't have a roof. Like, we could probably put something over to, like, help it, but I don't know if that would go against, like, the the rules and regulations of the place. But anyways, I'm rambling. Wow, that was a weird noise. Y'all don't need to hear that. But, <laughs> I... Yeah, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video and packing with me. And yeah, I'm excited to move. I'm excited for this new chapter of a new space, a new place to be living in. It's definitely brighter <sighs> and it's bigger in so many senses of the, of the word, uh, which is really nice. So I'm very, very excited. And yeah, I will catch you guys later. Um, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.